What's going on, y'all? This is Cruise with Cruise Control Radio. Today we're here in the lobby of home, and we out here outside. We got three talented guys right here in the building. They go by Hero Hero. We got Adeli, we got Foundation Mecca, and we got Conscious Beats. It's up, uh, it's up. Uh, What's dude. going on with y'all today, man? Chilling, chilling, man. Chilling like a villain, healing. That's all. I'm sweating. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. <laughs> Home's hot, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't sweat it. It's all good. <laughs> Don't sweat it. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, man, um, we've been, you know, working on some content, and you guys got, you know, a dope project on your hand. Like I was telling Adele, I heard the whole thing, and it's what's needed right now in the game. So I want y'all to, you know, individually explain what y'all – um who you are, where you from, and all that shit will start, you know, one side and then go to, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, so my name is Adeli. Um, I grew up here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm originally of Persian descent. Um, so a lot of that comes into play in my personality and my music. Um, my first album was called World Hop, where I incorporated some Persian elements to it as well as other world elements. That's um, right. with conscious beats, dope production, foundations, dope production. Totally. Um, so yeah, I, but I grew up here in Nashville and hip hop is very important to me. And this project specifically was also very important because it's things that we wanted to really talk about today. Dope. So you smoke hookah and shit? Um, I used to a long time ago. That's I just know Persians be fucking with the hookah. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. facts. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we made the hookah, but I don't think they give us the credit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me mad. Oh, uh, shit. That's facts. <laughs> All yeah. right, Foundation, what's going on, man? What's up, man? Uh, yeah, Foundation Mecca, appreciate you having us on the show, man. Sure. Yeah, man, love, uh, respect. Um, even, like, giving your flowers or putting it, helping the city Come up, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, like no rising problem. tide lift all boats. So yeah, man. respect. Yeah. Right. It's not about me. I appreciate it. it was not, not, I have to give you a fly. I gotta <laughs> nah, do that's just, love. I appreciate just it. Dude, man. Why you still here and you're in real time, present. Right. You know? Nah, that's love. Um, but yeah, Foundation Mecca, I'm a native, uh Nashville native, um, unicorns they call it, leprechaun, what you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, um I was definitely raised here, definitely grew up everywhere, moved like every six months. My mom Moved every time. I uh, went to different schools, became the new kid everywhere. Uh, mm-hmm. Also, originally from, uh, by the way, of uh, Cheatham County. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, Cheatham County, Pickham, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I lived down, funny story, I lived down the street from Idelli almost my, our whole life. We didn't really. Know it. Yeah. <laughs> five, five, ten minutes. That's crazy. So you lived in Bellevue. Yeah, I lived in Bellevue. Yeah. Yeah, then I felt like he's my cousin, you know what I'm saying? Like five years ago, you know what I'm saying? Right. So this is like yeah. the, the, you know, the bond of intervention, you feel me? Wow, so that's God crazy. Is good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I've been in music for a while, since like 13, uh, on the scene of Nashville and musically in the industry since about 17, 18 with my brother, uh, Rico. We had a group called GI Frontline. And we used to oh. do shows all over African Street Festival, mm-hmm. 92Q, uh, passing oh. mixtapes out. Um, and then I finally got into a mode where I was solo and I started doing work on myself, my inner child. And mm. I was realizing that the music is more powerful um, when it has healing in it. Because mm. I feel like we we don't came to different eras of the pimp, the Mac, the drug dealer, the, yep. the thug. Um, the nigga, uh, the you know, the whole, the, now that's everything. Everybody rapping, the junkie rapping, everybody rapping. Yeah. So I feel like mm-hmm. it's now it's the time for not just us as, as, as musicians, but as humans to heal, yeah. to heal our inner child. So um, I had a revelation of, of a thing called Heal Hop, healing mm-hmm. people through hip hop. Oh. Um, that was our first album, actually, yeah. Heal Hop, because mm-hmm. um, I told them about it and the revelation, the vision I had. And it's basically people helping each other across the world, age from eight different ages, different races, different religions, different domi- denominations, whatever. Mm-hmm. And just people just lifting each other up and helping everyone rise up. You know, that's why. And that's what H E R U stands for, Haru Haru, helping everyone rise up. Oh, that's all. I was gonna, I was gonna ask that. Yeah, because it, it was, it was like some. Um, it make like when you hear the name, it makes you want to know, like, okay, what are these guys about? Because what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, that shit is hard. Yeah. Thank you for the perspective, because I never. Yeah. Yeah, nah, because yeah. it's like I was, I was asking uh, virtues. I'm like, yo, bro, did you, did they tell you like what it means or anything? Mm. Like, I really want to know. Right. So then I was gonna ask on the podcast. So I'm glad you uh, brought it up. Yes, I. So yeah, nah, that's hard. So yeah. um, hero, hero. Why'd you say it? Why'd y'all do it twice though? Yeah. So basically, how we came up with the name. 
in our first album, we kind of give the explanation on the first track. Mm -hmm. um, but um, briefly, Foundation, we, we would always talk on the phone and chop it up for the last 10 plus years. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, like a lot of the subjects that we were talking about was rap music of the day. Uh, you know, it was trap music at that time. Mm -hmm. And we, we saw it kind of like hip hop derailing from what we were accustomed to growing up listening to. Even here in yeah. Nashville, Tennessee, we grew up on Nas. Mm -hmm. We grew up on Pac, Biggie, you know, DMX. Yeah. Um, so we're seeing like a major transformation at that time. And we're like, it would be ill if we can come to the scene and eventually bring positivity, but still keep it like gritty hip hop and all that. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't have to be corny by any means but it has to be something where there's nutrients in the music and it's not just like just you know Trash. boring mm. shit McDonald's. that's how i like that <laughs> nutrients in the in the music yeah so um so yeah he called me he was like hey um it's crazy i learned this word uh heru and it means hero um mm. what, what language well, it's like uh everyday heroes um but also it means uh ancient god from ancient kemet Basically, mm. Heru, um, it's an old ancient god from Kemet, ancient Egypt. Basically. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. Um, wow. And it's like a lot of like principles that Christianity is pretty much, you know, yeah. um, kind of uh, imitate or do, mm -hmm. or um, it's a lineage from that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to him about it, and he was like, "Yeah, that's dope." And he was like mentioning what Heru yeah. means in Persian. So, like, it, it sounded really close to a Persian word that's Harus. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So Heru, Heru is almost similar, and that means every day. So mm -hmm. if you say like everyday hero, that's everyday heroes. It's wow. like right, right in line with everything we were talking about. Mm -hmm. And so you know, we we came out um, as he was mentioning. He, he thought of the idea of heel hop, mm -hmm. like those two words embodied the whole vision. And then later on, we came up with the acronym helping everybody rise up, which yeah. just was what we are. So y'all yeah. knew Heru first, and then y'all put the acronym to the name. That's a yeah, fact. Exactly. That's yeah. Hard. Okay. I mean, they did that in old school hip hop. Yeah, yeah. At as well. So. That's hard. No, nah, that's why it's like that's why I was like when we were shooting, I was like y'all look like superheroes. I feel like I would have never got that vibe though because y'all it's like y'all on some like. Real hip hop, like what I grew up with, Wu Tang, like those were superheroes to me. Mm -hmm. So it's like you know. I feel like y'all embodying that essence. Yeah. So conscious beats, what's your what's your playing all this man over the oh uh, with I know you got the beats, but how did you oh, yeah. get a part of what they doing? Um, pretty much I guess just bringing the beats, just being there with the at the with the right vibe at the right time, you know. Like yeah, I yeah. make a lot of different styles and genres. So I make everything from nineties boom bap to house to drum and bass to mm. just music in general, whatever yeah. I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. you know? That's dope. And then, um, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I, I just heard somebody say something. That was me saying oh, it was fault. a beast. Yeah, it was a beast on the beast. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's hard. So was it like um, you guys were like, hey, I need, like, we need to find a producer, or was it just off off jump? Y'all was like, we going to Conscious Beast. It was it was super organic because yeah. I met Conscious through my homie Joshua Dine. Mm -hmm. and I was throwing ciphers in my house. Okay. And it was a little trailer, mm -hmm. two-bedroom trailer. And people used to come every Sunday. Oh, that's hard. Every Sunday, almost religiously, because mm -hmm. it, it, it was like three years straight. I got kids, babies, baby mama, everybody. Go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's just like, but it's like people come through, bring food, art, uh, instruments, and we wow. just jam out to like six o'clock in the morning every wow. Sunday. So uh, now it, yeah, I'm, I don't mean to cut you off, no, you but I, I'm just think as you saying that, it's like how crazy is it that like I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that, and you being on like the next cipher that we're doing <laughs> is, is fucking insane, bro. Like that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, but I'm crazy. sorry, you can continue. Yeah, I appreciate the Very opportunity close. too, man. Yeah, because yeah, yeah ciphers and people used to come from all the way around the whole city. Name, yeah. uh, it was like poets, mm -hmm. spoken word artists, and wow. that's how I met a lot of people through the city. Yeah, as well, just like they showing up at the house, <sighs> and sometimes be fifty to sixty people would just. What? In and out the house just the crazy. whole night in a little trailer park. Wow, we made it work though. So <laughs> people, uh, so conscious came over. Mm -hmm. uh, Joshua brought him, invited him, and then he just like making like not even making beats. He's just like playing beats over and over and over and over. And every beat is like different, a different planet, a different world. Mm -hmm. Every beat has a vibe. Every beat is like a remind me of a DJ Quick or. Or Pete Rock or yeah. Jay Dilla, mm -hmm. and I'm like, this guy study everybody, right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, he's just like master of all. Like, and, was, yeah. and ever since then, we just locked in. I was, 
hit him up, and then Adele was very like, you know what I'm saying, like rapping 16s every day. Yeah. And I'm like, he like barred me up, and I'm <laughs> coming back with another 16. Uh -huh. And then it was like, man, eventually we just need to record these. And yeah. he was like, man, you know any producers? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to hit Conscious up. So mm -hmm. hit Conscious up. He had a vibe for everything we wanted. Everything we, yeah. every That's verse. Crazy. It even matter. Every hook, mm -hmm. he had a vibe for it. So, and he yeah. even jumps on the songs too, rapping, yep. doing hooks. Yeah, like. I, just, <laughs> I just started doing that. Oh, word. Like, yeah. Okay. So was that like inspiration from like hearing what they doing? You like, oh yeah, I feel like I can speak my mind because um, I've been working with an artist um, recently, and how he raps it makes it's putting me back in my bag to get in the booth. Like, okay, I can rap about. It's okay to still rap about shit like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is that what happened with you being around them, or how did you? Why did you start rapping then? Pretty much, yeah, like, it's always been there in mm -hmm. me, but, yeah, being around them all the time, like, eventually it's going to come out. Yeah, <laughs> nah, that's dope. Yeah, because yeah, it's, a, it's a good balance, too, and I feel like, um, like, Adeli just reminds me of someone from New York. Off rip. <laughs> <laughs> Off rip. <laughs> like, you just saying, like, you from... Nashville for real? Yeah. Like I I didn't know. I thought you was from New York. Yeah. I, yeah. I I lived there for a few years, but like okay. I grew up on, you know, the great music of the East Coast. Yeah. So and my wife's family is New Yorkers, so Okay, makes now, sense. Yeah. Yeah. You locked in. Because I'm like, bro, like now. even the vibe is like yeah. I don't know if he's yeah. gonna stab me or hug me. Like, I, don't, I don't know. Forget about it. Forget about it. Under the tongue. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, oh, shit. yeah. I think that's why I was like, really, when he first started rapping, he remind me of like the like a member of Dipset. Like, yeah, he remind me of the Locks. Mm -hmm. Like everybody I study on the East Coast, so yeah. I was like, everybody always say I sound like an East Coast rapper anyway. Yeah. So I never yeah. really like even pinpointed it, but mm -hmm. I always studied the greats and the greats. A lot of them came from the East Coast as yeah. well as the West Coast. So mm -hmm. it was either Pac or it was either going back to because Pac's from the East Coast as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, it was either was that. it from Baltimore or is it New York and then Baltimore? Yeah, and yeah New York yeah, and Baltimore. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then it's like uh, Rock Kim, Big Daddy mm. Kane. Um, uh, I mean, you just name them, you know. Right. Uh, everybody was from the East Coast that was like raw mm -hmm. Wu Tang, yeah. you know. So I studied those guys, and then when I heard him, I was like, Oh yeah, we locked in. Yeah. No, nah, that's dope. So y'all got y'all got this project out. Depending on when this uh, interview comes out, it's out or coming out. Mm -hmm. And um, hieroglyphics. That's a hard play on words. What? How did how did the name come? And, and what made y'all want to go in that direction of you know the Egyptian you know type of like? When I heard the name, that's what came. You know. Yeah. When I was doing the cover and shit, like that's was like, yo, this gotta be like some Egyptian shit. So you nailed it too. I appreciate yeah, you it. Did. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. how did how did that name come about, and, and what what started this process of making the album? Um, that name, I I thought of it, um, because you know our, our music is symbolic too. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's not just just rapping to rap or just lyrical miracle stuff. Yeah. You know, it's we're we're trying to to really get a message across and. Sometimes it's through our wordplay and, um, you know, Heru is our name. So, mm -hmm. you know, and it, we consider ourselves to be symbolic. I guess that's. Yeah. So the rap game. Show. I yeah. feel like every every era has their um, their group of that the group that ev like evolves the game. Yeah. And makes it better or mm -hmm. makes it more like brings it back to the roots. Mm -hmm. You know what hip hop actually stood for, you know. Right. Um, and it's right. Remind people, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like we're. Or of course we're gonna carry the torch if our elders are getting older. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. And we're the next we're next in line, right? Mm -hmm. All right now. You yeah. know? Then it's like we got a responsibility. Right. This is, people listen to this music. People die by music. People live by music. People, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Live their life by music. So it's like a sense we are part of the fabric of the society, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's our responsibility, like a superhero, yeah, to make sure you uh hone it right. Right. Yeah, no, and that's and that's where the the purpose and you know y'all lyrics and and how you delivering it. It's not like you because you know uh, people be like, oh, like oh, they just trying to tell me what to do. How y'all delivering it is like, do you eat it or don't eat it? Like mm -hmm. I'm just telling you what I know. Yeah, type yeah, shit. Exactly. So it's easy to receive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, appreciate that's that. crazy. But yeah, it's easy. To <laughs> <laughs> but um. <laughs> So, yeah, going down um, this track list, what was the first? Because I know, like, as an artist, like, one song be like, okay, we got to make an album. 
So what song was it that made y'all be like, okay, we got to go in this direction? Or were y'all already planning to make an album before starting to lay down tracks? I think, yeah, I think we, what started first, the album? Um, yeah, it was kind of just the idea of like, let's just see what we can do. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we have three different schedules, three different worlds. Yeah. And somehow at the very like last week of last last year, mm -hmm. um, we all made it to to come together for about a week and we just kept hammering tracks out i think we made five tracks of this album in one day wow yeah Shit. so yeah, like yeah. writing and recording writing yeah, and recording wow. locked in. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's but it, it happens like that we'll 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 like be doing busy with life stuff because he got kids i got kids he got wife and family mm -hmm. they, and business and stay take care of so it was like we're always busy yeah so yeah. when we get a chance to lock in it's like it may be like two or three days is back to back just hammering songs out. You yeah, know? when you got the time, you got you're the time use it. exactly. <laughs> yeah. But when we do, it's like we've been serving up all this energy mm -hmm. for this moment right here, and now we talk to have conversations over the year. You mm -hmm. know, so now the conversation is getting put into songs. Yeah, no, nah, that's dope. That's dope because I I, I can relate because um, I don't have much time, and on Sundays I squeeze in everything. Yes. So my wife is like, bro, what the what the fuck? Like, what? <laughs> like what? that's supposed to be family. I'm like, listen, that's the only day I got. Man, yeah, so yeah, Saturday's yeah, family God, now. Literally, ain't enough right. hours in a day. Yeah, no, there's not. So with with that being said, how do you guys, you know, with having families and everything going on, is it tough to, you know, does it ever feel like, ah, shit, we're never gonna get this done, or does it? Is it like a knowing of what's going on? You're like, okay, we gonna do it. No matter what, yeah, it's almost like a like a uh, responsibility. Mm. It's almost like it's our purpose, and we're doing the service. Yeah, that's the purpose. Mm -hmm. The music is the service, and we're doing service to ourselves because this is like ther therapy. Yeah, yeah. this is mm -hmm. healing. It's, this is like a fact. this mm -hmm. is like a not even work. Yeah, but it was like it'd be dope if this was wor the work. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm like saying? We were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> we were just talking about this. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so our purpose is the work, but we want to be, you know. We want to just be pro broke profits. We want to be profitable right. profits. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> profitable <laughs> profit. <laughs> Next album, <laughs> featuring uh, Alex. <laughs> the profitable profits. <laughs> gotta, make it, yeah. gotta make it happen. <laughs> nah, uh, so, so that's pretty. Um, that's pretty dope, man. So um, earlier you mentioned like also produced um, by Foundation Mecca. So you also were collabing on beats. With conscious beats, or I didn't know you made beats as well. Yeah, I make beats. Yeah, I've been making beats for probably since sixteen. I'm thirty seven now, so Damn. for a little bit. Yeah, for a little yeah. bit. Uh, some of beats on the last couple albums we collabed yeah, on. Yeah, no, uh, no. This one, I think we were just we're so engineering. It, yeah, and engineering okay. and stuff. Yeah, yeah and it's yeah. like I make a beat and I'm like, I think this might fit the project. Then I definitely come through with a verse. And he may come through with ideas for the verse or mm -hmm. other song. And then um, he'll definitely have a whole folder and just be emailing us back to back beats, and we just be like, mm -hmm. land on the beat. We both like got a sixteen for it. Cool, fine. You know, so it's just almost like super organic. Not even really think about. It. We just like a machine. We just yeah, make it's sure just happening. Yeah, yeah. No, that's dope. Yeah, he but. might put like a premix or something on the track, and then I'll follow up and add things. Yeah, now that's dope to have multiple hands. Um, understanding that realm because mm -hmm. you know it's a lot of times the artists will try to explain what that what they want the engineer to do Facts. but the engineer is like what the fuck are you even talking about like <laughs> i really i can't i don't know but knowing yeah. the system and how the shit works you're able to communicate in that way so yeah. that's yeah. dope to have that a lot of it is very natural like conscious beats like foundation was saying he'll send us beats and stuff like that he's he's constantly inspired mm -hmm. like Conscious beats. He'll he'll be outside looking at the stars, making sense of the sky, and then he'll go make a beat. <laughs> like no no bullshit. Like it's nice. honest. And um and that's really how the last album transpired. It was just like he was just mm -hmm. tapped in, like mm -hmm. on another level. It was like, and so really yeah. there'd be no Heru without Conscious Beats. His brilliance, his music will uh, uh, basically yeah, allow you to come up with with the subject matter naturally yeah. mm -hmm. it's not like we're like all right we're gonna make this track about this it just yeah. comes out mm -hmm. and we all know how to sync together like right it sometimes yeah. we'll write our verses we don't i don't even hear his verse and mine goes with what he right. said too yeah. mm -hmm. it's just like that wild, so it, and that's the yeah. power in the beat too the what people are, are are forgetting too is the producers these days like it's about the, producer, the artists yeah. always want to you know what i'm saying be the star but like i'm glad you was able to say that on you know what i'm saying like just off love type shit yeah, because yeah. 
beats really make you say certain things in songs. You can think you're going in the direction with a song. That's why a lot of like, you know, yeah. a lot of heavy 808s, you hear like negative shit coming out of it because mm-hmm. where that place is, you know, aligned with your body. Yeah. yeah. So low frequency. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's so vibration. important that like you basically saying like this is the realm I want y'all in and y'all are already adapting to like mm-hmm. right. since the yeah. y'all got that like cohesiveness within each other. So that's yeah. that's fire. Yeah, it's kind of weird because we all also was like listening to the same types of music. Yeah, growing up too, mm-hmm. especially in hip hop, we all got the same like legends. Yeah, that yeah. we consider like was our idols once upon a time. You right. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like we all, you know, like me and him was like on pot, like pot. Yeah. yeah, all day long. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Jay Dilla, me and talk about Jay Dilla all day long. So it's kind of like we all, you know, represent these people as well because mm-hmm. they are also. Ch- Made us who we are. You know? Yeah, that's yeah. What I, I mean, mean, that's kind of how I came up with my name because that was the hardest thing. I could write raps all day, like mm-hmm. books of rhymes, like yeah. Nas said, I, my book of rhymes. Mm-hmm. Um, but like Tupac Machiavelli was so crucial to me as um, as I was coming up, trying to come up with a style, come up with my identity, understand more of myself. Um, so my friends would call me Macadelli, mm. and so you that's know. So hard. Again, coming up with that name was hard. I, I came up with one. It was like Farsi, but because you know that's the language of right. Iran, Persia. Mm-hmm. Um, but then it was like it just looked like I was trying too hard. It felt like that. Yeah. So my family growing up, they would always call me Adeli. Um, so I was like, that's that's me. And so I just mm. took the Mac off the front, and I'm Adeli. So that's all. <laughs> yeah. And that and that and it when you change, it's crazy how important the name is because I've. I don't know, but I'm sure when you change your name, you felt more comfortable. Like right when you're writing and putting stuff out, you're yeah, like, "That's me." It's authentic. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can't yeah, fake it that. A lot. Yeah, yeah. and it changes so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because um, I did uh, my my rap name used to be AC to God, and I was out doing a lot of things where I felt I was such um, <laughs> and yeah. putting myself above oh, yeah, things. Man. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. so mm-hmm. just going, and then now I'm just cruising. It's like everything has been flowing to me so yeah yeah, you know so a name what you want people to call you is so important so important man because that's like how do you guys feel about that like um because you're saying like heel hop you want to heal hip-hop how important is words to y'all and um anyone can answer um within today's hip-hop yeah i say words are they should be held to a high regard but Mm -hmm. You know, nowadays people think it's okay to like, you know, what people say, capping, lying or whatever. Mm-hmm. They think it's okay to do that, which I guess, you know, it's a form of entertainment. But I think if when you put things out like and it's coming from you, it should come from an authentic place. Like, mm. Facts. You should make something that people can like really feel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, words are super yeah. powerful. I think. Like this book of the Four Agreements. I don't know if you read it. Mm, nah, it bro, I've been trying to tell me to read that, bro. This, <laughs> yeah. If you like audio books, it's put on YouTube. Yeah, for, hey, Four Agreements. Be and impeccable it, with your words. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Because your words are black magic, or they could be casting blessings. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, because everything you say is a prayer. Technically, mm-hmm. yep. you say it, you speak it. God spoke it, and then it became manifest it you know you're literally we, shaping we're many gods we're yeah. walking around mm-hmm. made in his image mm-hmm. speaking almost with the same tongue you know yeah. what i'm saying so it's like your tongue is your sword you can make life or you can take a life you yeah know, with mm-hmm. it and that's what my uh that's what my lady says is um like that's why it's called spelling like when you spell yeah. the words because you're, spells, yeah. like you're casting spells with everything yeah. you say you go and choose to say you know, because my mouth is loose. I just say, wow, shit, I got intrusive thoughts. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of things, she's like, yo, just watch. Like, it's funny, but, like, watch what you say, too. Even a joke and a jest, yeah. exactly. you still manifest it. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's dope to um, have like-minded people within. Yeah. Because you know what I hate is that the media makes it seem as though black culture, hip-hop culture is – all this one way mm. when it's like the majority of people i grew up with in the black culture and hip-hop culture is the total opposite mm, like right. nobody's really <laughs> on that shit. everybody's like they bugging but y'all yeah. only promoting the people that's bugging yeah. right exactly. so it's like it's Reality good TV. that's what we're here for. exactly <laughs> yeah so to to see this is like refreshing and um the monetized off the dramatized 
<laughs> you know, somebody told me I was interviewing this girl, um, and she was talking about culture and trying to tell me that I don't know nothing about um, culture. Yeah. And then um, she was like, uh, brought up the show Baddies. I don't know if y'all know what that is. It's I just heard a bunch it, of yeah. girls just yelling at each other. Bad girls so club, she, club. Yeah, type yeah. shit. So um, she was like. You don't watch baddies? That's culture. This is what I'm trying to say. That's culture. I said, that's fucking that's up the culture. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, so just, yeah, just. I see what Kanye means now. <clears throat> Shit like jackass and cheeseburgers. <laughs> we don't have culture. If that's the culture, then we don't have culture. Exactly. That's not culture. That's. Yeah. That's entertainment. That's entertainment, and but they tricked us to make us think that's we belong there. Right, we belong in this. We basically uh, subscribe to it. Mm. Exactly. Therefore, we are. Yeah. But once we unsubscribe for that motherfucker, all it takes is like thirty thousand people to unsubscribe one time. Yep. At one moment, who they gonna, gonna send emails the to? They ain't right. gonna send emails to nobody. Exactly. If you don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no no alerts. No push <laughs> notifications. No notifications. <laughs> oh man, so. Uh, man, we got a, we still got a lot of work to do, man. So we're going to uh, wrap this interview up. I just want each of y'all to say um, a few words on, on where you at right now and where you see yourself and the team going. Um, I see a lot of potential in this album because all of it was genuine, authentic. Um, our goal is truly to heal people. There's no hidden agenda. Um, the things that we talk about in the album – is not what other artists are talking about. A lot of them are distracted and continuing that distractive conversation while we're trying to attack the issues mm -hmm. at its core. Yeah. How can we heal if we're not attacking the and addressing the issues that are causing all of this anxiety and mm -hmm. the pains of the world, the struggling, you know, so we have to face it head on. That's like thera therapeutic, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like therapy, like what's the issue? You get to the bottom of it. Um, so, you know, all of us really came together. I'm, I'm proud of these guys because, yeah. you know, we all came together and stuck with it like a true team. Mm -hmm. um, we, we believe in it wholeheartedly. And our goal is for the world to hear this. This isn't something that's like a local project. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, Nashville rock with us. Like Nashville is always a part of us. Like right. we, we came from it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, our message transcends it. It's, it's worldwide. So we, we hope to reach all the continents and um yeah it's, it's a dope project that's all right. yeah i agree i think this album's gonna help people relate to us as a as individuals as a crew as a, our story i think we we're probably the most vulnerable on this album than any other album mm. um definitely i could say that for sure in my lyrics um i think this is going to change the narrative of not just rappers from nashville or nothing like that it's going to change the narrative as far as topics Mm. It's like how, you know, uh, more, uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers changed the topic of, like, black men being vulnerable, you right. know what I'm saying, yeah. with their self. Like, so making like it cool. Making it cool. Mm -hmm. So I think this is, like, changing the narrative of what we could actually talk about right. in music. Mm -hmm. You could talk about Kim Trails. We could talk about mm -hmm. the shit that we talk about in the living room with our families. <laughs> <Right. you know laughs> <what I'm saying? laughs> and people will receive exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. We, uh, <laughs> we pass, you know, conspiracy theories now, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We critical thinkers now, yeah. okay? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's like... Yeah, we're gonna be thinking about shit that other people are thinking about. Yeah, and that's not just America; it's across the globe. Like he yeah. said, like so. I think on the and on the sonically on the frequency of the actual music, I think we, it has more instrumentation than we ever did before. Mm. Uh, we actually like you thought about a reference like Tribe Called Quest albums, you know, stuff yeah. like that, mm -hmm. or uh, the Roots, or you know, or a Black Star. Yeah, you know, how would they, you know, interpret it? Our perspective. Sonically, yeah. Uh, now I know Conscious Beast can probably speak to that as well. That's hard. Yeah, pretty much like the sound of this album from beginning to end. It's like the soundtrack to a movie. Mm. And, and if mm. you think about it, like this music in general is almost like a soundtrack to what you normally see on a day to day basis. Like mm. we're we're constantly our consciousness is constantly streaming a movie anyway. So mm. it's like mm. you know we just want to tune. I guess the way you uh, you view your true, yeah. I guess if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> like y'all in y'all in y'all in the movie, and it's like you just blocking out all the extras. You letting the extras just do their thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Just the the movie. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so nah, that's dope, man. And again, man, dope project. Um, I think it, you guys are headed in the right direction, and you know, I know um, you do a lot of community work too as well. Mm -hmm. So just seeing yep. that um, is like it's not just. We ain't just doing this shit, yeah, facts, yeah. just yeah. to do it for yeah. some likes. Yeah, outside. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, 
So I appreciate y'all, man, and thank you for sitting down and, you know, getting to know y'all more and, and y'all purpose and what y'all doing, man. So if you could let the people know where to follow you, um, stream you, your OnlyFans, all that. And <laughs> <laughs> I do got OnlyFans. I'm showing my toes. It's got a pedicure, so go check that out. Uh, <laughs> the mecha toes. Uh, <laughs> maybe coming soon. Mecha feet. <laughs> Now they're going to get some encouragement out here. <laughs> nah, but, but you can find me at Official Foundation Mecca on Instagram, um, as well as Foundation Mecca on any platform of streaming. Um, I'm also an engineer, producer. If you need beats, holler at me. Um, need vocal lessons, holler at me. I got you. Um, whatever. Um, also on, on the collaborator tip, uh, appreciate you, Cruz, put, sure. putting the thing together, helping us with our, our media. Um Thanks to home for hosting this thing, you know. Sure. Um, but yeah, look out for hieroglyphics coming out the fifteenth of November, two thousand twenty four. Hard. If y'all want to say y'all Instagrams and shit. All right, yeah. I'm conscious beats. You can find me pretty much just type in K O N Science Beats um on any like any platform. It could be uh Instagram, uh Facebook, LinkedIn, literally, I have everything. Yeah, <laughs> locked in. So, yep. So you got the OnlyFans, yeah. Con- <laughs> oh yeah, don't have the OnlyFans <laughs> yet, but it's on the way. It's on the way. <laughs> it's on the way. <laughs> oh man, on the way is crazy. Yeah, so you can find me at um, on Instagram, other social medias, Adeli Hip Hop, um, our group Heru Heru Hip Hop, and we have the website HeruHeru dot com. Dope. Y'all got merch and all that shit ready. I see the hats. Yes, yes, we got yeah. merch. We got the shirts. We got the. Uh, I think we even got the varsity jackets coming. Oh so, shit! Yeah. Got the coffee. Got the tea. Oh, yeah. oh y'all got coffee yeah. and shit. Yeah, got coffees <laughs> in the works. Yep. Yo, y- y'all got to make me mushroom coffee. Ooh, oh, yeah. All right, oh, yeah. some chaga. What is that? I don't know. Uh, what that's, that a is. Mu- that's a mushroom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting it on. It's relaxation. Yeah, you got to relax. I keep getting. <laughs> I keep getting a motherfucking. Uh, you know, the ads pop up on my Instagram. It oh, yeah. keeps showing this Raza, Raza coffee. Yeah, yeah, shroom coffee. And I'm oh, like, yeah. damn, okay. it showed yeah, me enough times it. to where I want to buy it now. Yeah, but I'm yeah. like, nah, <laughs> I'm not going to feed the algorithm. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we had the idea of the coffee. Shout out to Jada Kiss. But I feel like we yeah. had it before him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. He came out with it. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we had the idea. We call it uh, like Heruvian Woke. Mm. Like instead of like Peruvian Coke, yeah, yeah, a positive spin. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't do drugs, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all, should, y'all gonna sell it like in, in uh, like taped up and all that. <laughs> That'll be all. Hey, hey. hey. That's that's hey that's dope. <laughs> That'll be all. That's what when uh, my fir- one of my first mixtapes. Um, Cause I sold a little weed back in the day, like yeah. regular shit. But I was selling my mixtape CDs in baggies, <laughs> and, and, and out baggies. Yeah, man. so they loved that. Shit. I was living in Florida at the time, and that that's, shit was crazy. That's dope. Cause they make it, they expecting something else, and they getting dope. Yeah. Music. Yeah, it's dope yeah. <laughs> so yeah, man. Now again, I appreciate y'all uh, coming through, and sure. let's get this content in. Let's get Thank it. you. Shout out to Cruz. Make sure y'all tapped in every week right now. I'm on this mic. This shit make me want to, like, spit. I usually <laughs> on the... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so, um, yeah, make sure y'all tune in every week. Cruise Control Radio. Like, subscribe, share, all that. Just don't be weird. Let's go. <laughs>